You know, I've never made a video at all like this one. All the other videos I've made have been just war movies or something. This was a this was a music video and that was a whole different thing. Action, play it. But the box is 3.5. You know, you had to mix the song together with the uh, video and so you had to take the video and then weld the song on top of it and make sure that they fit together so it was really challenging we did our shots kind of spontaneously you know we'd um like we didn't really have them all planned out. We, I know Joe and I got together once and we made a list of about 30 shots we could do. But that was just the first day that we did that. And after that, we just kind of winged them as we went. So like, uh, Mount Washington was planned. Um, let's see what else was. the On the bridge that was planned. Um, and on the track field was planned, but other than that, it was all pretty random. We, uh, like the basketball, who, the, the waterfall, the, I don't know, uh, the, in front of the store on the little kid rides. That was all just, we're just driving through town. We're like, hey, look, let's just go do it over there. And we hopped on and we'd do it. And <laughs> it was pretty fun. We just, it was really spontaneous. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm rolling. Point at me when you're ready to go. I'm ready, it's rolling. <laughs> yeah, the, the, first, <clears throat> the first day was definitely the most productive day we got. Um, we got the whole bridge done, pretty much. Um, the greatest thing about that day was we had Tom Howe, and Tom Howe has the most random, crazy sense of humor. And he just added his little, you know, dancing with the milk does box thing, and he, uh, he just did it perfectly, and he was probably the greatest addition we had. Um, but yeah, as the then the next week we got a lot done again, and Tom was there with us. But those were only two days we had Tom with us, and those are the only days we got a lot done. And after that, we kind of we slowed down, and we're doing it just like for about an hour on Sunday every Sunday afternoon. Good. The McDonald's shot was really good and Devin <laughs> he was great with it we just drove up and a woman came with our bag and they said hey could you just put this milk duds box in the bag and then just give it back to us and we're gonna film you is that all right and she was okay and she did it and we got that awesome shot out of that and all right you're good all right. <laughs> have a nice day thank you, thank you. just proves that you know it might be awkward to ask a question like that but in the long run I mean you get a great result so it's totally worth it the Mount Washington day that was definitely the most exciting day uh, Devin couldn't go with us but that was all right we drove out to Mount Washington Jake Joe Mike and I um, we got to the auto road about 15 minutes before it closed and it was an eight mile drive at the top but there was snow about five miles up so they're only letting us go four and a half miles so we drove the four and a half miles up that road which was scary and I had just learned how to drive a standard about five days earlier and um, we got there and we had unscrewed the whole drum set to fit it in my car and I don't know how we got it in there, but we did. But it was about 20 degrees up there. And we had to pull it all out and screw it back together up in the cold weather. <clears throat> but we did it, and we got an awesome shot there. And we went back 
Crackdown. We just did random shots of Gorham. But um, actually, there's a scene in the Milk Duds movie where Jake's uh, in front of a suspended car that's in a, uh, a shop. And that's actually my car because the muffler almost fell off when we hit a bump going down Mount Washington. So we had this very redneck kind of, hey, how's it going, guy, that uh, just... He put it up there, and he took a spray paint can and cut it half in half vertically, and then just wrapped it around the muffler pipe and duct taped it on to hold it up there. And it was it was a real slapstick job, but it got us back to Sunapee, which was about a hundred miles away from Washington. But it was <laughs> a pretty crazy night, and we had a lot of fun. Another shot that's really random is Joe and Mike blowing milk up boxes up and actually they were just over in my house and we were bored and we didn't really know what to do so we had us blow stuff up and sort of blowing up things, putting firecrackers and duct tape and gunpowder and <clears throat> just mixing them together and blowing them up and they were like, hey, why don't we do it for the movie? And that's how that amazing shot came into being. On the last day when we just had about 20 seconds left of the film, we um, came to my house and we said, hey, we got all these milk good boxes because we had saved them throughout the year. Um, and we had about like 40 of them. I said, hey, let's have us behind the milk dud boxes while they're burning. That'd be a cool shot, kind of. Um, so we did that. Action. <laughs> Stay there. So <clears throat> that was the last day, and we're like, wow, we're all done. This is weird, but it was a great movie, and I'm just so glad that I made it. And what makes it a great movie is how many random shots it has and how just random and crazy and funny it is. And it's definitely the best movie I've ever made and I'm very proud of it. And I want to thank everybody who helped us make it. And I hope that you like it and go rate it on YouTube.